Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the 2024 April World Records for Zenotic Defrag. We had quite a good month this month. 170 records with, I believe, hold on, I've lost it. 87 unique records set by Amnesia, Woe, J High, uh, Amino, Shirasaki, Riffo, Nature, Ver, Nero, Azdu, Plasma, Akamali, Uchi, Malice, Face, Ferius, Ecas, Infinity, Ecstasy, Question Mark, 5e, Banano, Bias, Triz, Chiz, eh, Chizra, Des, Electric Wizard, Kabla, and Robotic. And, and Robotic, I suppose. It was a good month. It was a very good month. Uh, we have a new guide for Zenotic. If you are new to this video and you've just found it randomly, Linked in the description below is a guide to Xenotic that I have made. I'm really proud of it. Please go watch it. If you haven't seen it already and you're part of the community, please go and watch it so that it gets the YouTube views. Link it around. Bookmark it so that you can send it to people who don't know how to play the game. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. So, that's a good thing. Also, uh, if you have spare money, donations for the servers are really really welcome at the minute other than that a bit of general housekeeping we've got a few starting records i can't remember which ones exactly have been recommended to me but there are at least four records on here that uh are specifically chosen to take a look at so we're going to have some decent records uh going on hopefully we get less lag this time i was I've tried to get everything set up so that we get good quality. But here we go. Can't remember who sent me this record, but this map uh, no longer lagging. When it was first started the server, was lagging like all hell. And apparently it is quite a good record. Pretty clean. I'm trying to remember what uh, rocks are solid and what aren't on some of these. Oh, nice. On some of these maps is a bright pain in the ass. I wish that they were just all solid. But yeah, that's a pretty, pretty clean, pretty tasty world record right there. Very, very nice from Amino. Who got the most records this one? 30 records. Pretty nice. Pretty dang nice. This map, Ash Yeah Baby, chose it because I got a good time on this map and it was in my frag movie. So, yeah, chose this one. Whoa, setting a really nice time on here. It's just super clean. Boom. Short one, but boom, boom, straight in. Asfag BFG, we saw this one last month um, and I was interested where it led to. Apparently this is where it leads to. Sorry for the bitrate, the bitrate is about to drop because this green bamboo texture is absolutely minging. But yeah, this is apparently where it leads to. Good record from Riff, I did watch this one before. Uh, Cleans up, for the most part, all of the things that uh, we were saying towards the end of last month where there were cuts being taken, but everyone had some sort of major fail. But on this one, no major fails. And this just, that's a ridiculous section, it's just absolutely horrendous. Ah, also in the housekeeping. No, that's next month. Never mind. No spoilers for next month. Or this month as I record this. I've got to remember that. I've got a big list for next month, actually. This month, I, was, I, I haven't got a list. I normally write a text document, but I kind of just dump stuff I was expecting to do this early in the month, but then I... Uh, 
decide to do some stuff in a rallying game. Terrible decision. Play defrag. Can't remember why I put that one in. I think it was just clean. This was recommended to me. Rico been making some cool maps. Haven't had a chance to play very many of them so far, but uh, from the looks, things pretty cool. Pretty wicked textures, but I like it. <laughs> Burns your retinas out. Luckily, in game, we have the option to R underscore ambient, but. YouTube, stop lagging. Come on, my guy. Why can I watch YouTube all day? All day I can watch YouTube. It doesn't lag, and then I come to record this, and it starts lagging. It's brutal. Oh, that's clean. That's so nice. right through that corner beautiful from Shearer and even that tight that tiny little bit at the end maybe didn't make a, uh, a another time cut but maybe it does just put you into that next next bit but you got to be thinking about those things yeah just standard Shiro Nero stuff. I think this Nero record, I've completely missed it. I'm pretty sure I put this Nero record in while we were talking shit about Nero's uh, circle jump. But I'm like 90% sure that this record's only in there because it was a, a ridiculous circle jump. And I just put a random Nero record in. It's a bloody nice run. It's a good map. Good map and a bloody nice run. Amnesia, our champion of the month. I should keep a tally of who's uh, who's been the champion of the month each month so far. No changes in the overall this month. Had a quick check. Uh, no major changes. Oh, it's facing what I've literally only just clocked is facing worlds. <laughs> Sick. Probably a better version of facing worlds to actually play in Quake rather than the regular version. The direct port's not great. Such a good map though, facing worlds. Somehow works. Dini run by Woe, well, this one will be good. This map is... Nice. A lot of routing options. You know, you got a lot of ramps to choose from. Whether you go tight or uh, take a down ramp and whether you go... What ra up ramp you take and stuff like that. A lot of spacing options. That I love that start. That start's so good. In, like fully using the combo and getting everything in. It's really nice. <sighs> what an end. What an end there. Once more. All right. Triple on the nade, or double nade and a rocket. Beautiful climb. Good strafing, because you don't have any weapons through here. Just keeping the strafing together. And then as soon as the rocket comes into the inventory, boom. Taking the shot. That's what it's about. I was going to say, I like watching Guo play. Because whoa, watching Woe play makes me feel like I could actually do this. 
because Wo looks in the same places as I do, does the same circle jump that I do, and has that kind of gentle, slow, super slow turning AD turns that I have. And it just makes me feel like maybe, maybe I could actually set one world record in my life. It's unlikely, but you know, an MB can dream, hey? Eh? That's a cracked teleporter exit, going straight out and then suddenly getting through. The haste on this map uh, just about runs out before each section, and then you get another one on the next section. Yeah, you you have videos. I really I, I do need to just put my head down, pick a map and go for it. Um And I will do. Ah, that's the other thing with Shiro. World record immediately back and about to start another run. You know, that, that previous finishes gets the world record. Exactly the same as bonking into that wall and deciding to you know, hitting the restart. Absolutely mad. Yeah, I might see if I can find a map that I can actually feasibly take. One of the crazy coasting race maps. It's going to be difficult to see why Riffo's going to certain places here on this map. But he is just chasing around the uh, lane of checkpoints right now. So you'll see he just takes checkpoints. We can't see the way markers, he can. So yeah, you just got to go towards them and find them. And then the finish is over there. Strange maps, but unique. And that's good. Unique maps are good. Some of them really not lent towards uh, towards grinding, but people will still do it. This map is... So, yeah, you just got to bounce on the very edge of all of these and then hope you make it across. Super nice. Double rocket pre-fire. In the hopes that you end up, you know, with one of them, basically. There's a good chance that you do. Nice bit of straight slick strafing. And boom. Yeah, that red map with pixel grinding. Because if you go... To, you have to know your exact angles because if you, you you can go too far, which is always a problem. Being too good at the game, Mr. Slapper himself, flying right. Riffo didn't strafe the slick. He did. He was uh, right arrow, a left strafe left. Plus left, whatever you want to do. Not plus left, plus strafe left. A. Is WA faster? I've done both with more. I don't know, I, I feel like just AD seems to be more just works better usually for me. I don't know. I can't remember what map starts straight off with a Zeal um, Zeal 300 Slick or Zeal Slick 300 where you've got to start and go over the gaps. That one I find it easier just to AD uh, against a wall or just A against a wall. Um than to WA. I don't I don't know why. Because you only just get over it. 
at least, well, I only just get over it. I suppose everyone else probably plays it by a mile. <laughs> There's a reason I talk about these videos and uh, don't get onto them. One day. One day. I tried really hard during next to WC last year to get one, but didn't manage it. Is Riffo going for the purple name of finishing all of uh, world recording all Kota races? Is there a special you world recorded all Kota races tag? Purple tag. We've found the purplest purple and we've given it to the guy with the the most mad guy. I do need to do Climb World at some point though, speaking of purple tags. Speaking of purple. J height. Don't know why, but I always think of him as purple. I think it's his Twitch uh, icon. It's a bit purple. Oh, that was really nice. This is a space like you can tell that this map. He knows his spacing and that's it. He's not making any of this up on the fly. Maybe a little bit through there and starting towards sort of the second half. But... That first half certainly he wasn't making up any of that spacing on the fly. Just... All records can be improved. Welcome to the liminal space of doing the same thing four times. Des has confirmed live on the stream. He will be getting a world record on that previous map in the May world record recap. So we look forward to look forward to that one. This is just one of the maps of all time, really, isn't it? <laughs> it was mesmerising, the way that he did that, though. Oh, here we go, surfing. No wonder Woe's getting this one. This is this next corner. Ooh, look at that. Looks so easy, but it's so tricky. And then getting into that finish. Just fitting into that finish, because you have to hit the black. And you have to fit within the black, because the box overwrites the outside. It's insane. Mad one might be later. Let's see. There's my records list. What was that previous record? QW race 2. Uh, that is the only record this month, so the next one must be next month.
most records that people can remember are May at the minute. It, we are we are 23 days through May. You know. Pretty far, pretty far. I've been pinged for something. <laughs> Let me add it to my list now if I haven't got it. I've got a list for, for May. Yep, got it for got it already in my list for May, so QW race two. In there. Noted will be added to the playlist. Uh when I make it at the start of the month. This map may say simple, but it really is anything but. That's that was insane. Just getting through there so cleanly. Nero's W turns. I am not confident enough to do that sort of thing. Yeah, the top players really have. I think it's a combination of a lot of top players being on at the same time. And we haven't had a huge influx of new maps. Like, if you remember, not quite this time last year, but starting this time last year, I guess, we started to get a ton of new maps and a ton of, uh, of changes to things that were resetting maps, which meant people were going around trying to capture their old records or kind of learning the new new weapons new uh, velocity pads teleporters were being changed maps were being edited slightly to have warp zones i remember but right now we're pretty stable and the player base the top players have been around for a little while there's not a lot going on in other games so players that play multiple things right now there's not a lot of tournaments happening um there's actually a surprising amount of mapping competitions that's from the source runs community a lot of mapping stuff actually but not uh, not not grinding or anything like that and Zenotic hasn't got very many uh Hasn't got many many Trackmania players that are currently playing Deep Dip. <laughs> She's like half the Defrag community, I think, right now. The for regular Defrag. Ooh, they're all messed up this month. I don't know why the uploader does it sometimes. Sometimes the the order they're uploaded in is completely different uh, to what I get in the sheet which is weird it is a very strange thing so I know Mario manually uploads them but they're like spat out as from what I understand, they're spat out as files with a date stamp and then a script to goes in to edit them. This map's nuts. Let's go, go back on this map. So, you start, right? You start here. You see this, this rocket launcher. You have to pick that up, look straight down at your feet and shoot practically within three or four frames. Otherwise, you're going to hit the wall. 
It is a slick in here, but you don't want to use the slick. You want to just bounce straight away as soon as you pick it up. You've got to fire. Then you've got to get the pre-fire, get up the other side, get around the corner. Keep firing, keep firing. Lovely work. So a quick peek. There was a bit of a lull in records this month. Going down, let's see, were there any record plus days? Nature keeping it alive on the 10th, the only record on the 10th. No, nope, every day, every day this month had a record. 13 minutes long. Riffo, me lad. <laughs> and yet he still goes for things like that at 13 minutes long. That was nice. I wish YouTube let you do three times speed. I'd do three times speed right now. The worst thing is with with how weird this looks. And yeah, I know people that permanently watch YouTube videos at three ti uh, two times speed. And it's like this, this is just weird. Ooh, nice pre-fire there. But that's that's something that uh, I've spoke about last month. With how good the community is getting. Um, we're seeing pre-fires in places that we just really wouldn't have seen them before. Like that. Where lots of things are getting optimised, but also to the point where the certain players in the community are preemptively doing stuff when they spot it when they spot that they can do it like Riffo doing that just there rather than waiting for it to be required for a world record the first time we're seeing records properly come through some of them are actually quite good Nicely done. We're not even halfway through. That is true, they do save half the viewing time. But at the same time, I spend so much time scrolling YouTube trying to find something good to watch. I don't want to speed up what I'm watching. Not to, you know, dunk on Riffo here in the slightest that this potentially might be a boring map but I'll just say that if it if it didn't contain so much just str shooting rockets in a straight line then I know oh that's interesting hold on hold on we're going back we're going back going back uh, not that one no we will watch that that's interesting but I do know that this map is just corridors. It's just rocket corridors and Hagar corridors. So what's going on here? He's just literally... No, I don't feel like being in your map anymore. Is this... Is this Zenotic or is this a Doom 2016 speedrun we're watching? But also, how much has he just cut 
and yet it is still a 13 and a half minute run. So unless he's fallen in the wrong place <laughs> and he's actually gone backwards. <laughs> either that or it's going to be 20 minutes of... How long is it going to take him to get through this? Oh no, this seems, seems to have this pretty sussed, yeah. That's alright. Some of these, I've played a map with these bounce pads, I believe it was a Mirio one. I just tossed you because every bounce pad gave you a different velocity. They weren't perfectly straight up bounce pads. Whereas that, at least they look like perfectly straight up so you can consistently know what the hell's going on. Yeah, look, he's just ADing. No, um, no W. A and D against these walls for really long strafe sections. Oh, sorry, really long wall slick sections. Those look so long that you actually could just tap forwards, get going at like 350, go make a cup of tea. While your character just slides to the other side. Oh, nicely done. Okay, you got a double stack to get out of these sections then. Now we're getting some harder sections because prior to this, there's been nothing. Nothing, you know, Riffo's done a few tricks to try and skip stuff, but there's been nothing that's been particularly arduous other than skips in the map. Well, other than the fact that if you're not doing the skips, it's probably going to, and considering the possible scale of the entire out of bounds skip. Uh, <laughs> he's just shooting them because he's bored, isn't he? One day, I'm positive that he's just going to go absolutely insane from doing these types of runs. Either that or it'll be some absolute ridiculous thing like, you know, this run becomes five minutes or something. Yeah, I mean the fact he's not giving up when he's made mistakes at all. Like he fell down like three or four times in the first two minutes. There was a section where he was making, you know, trying to just go straight up. Yeah, I can see you're probably not if you know you're quite far ahead. Do you know what? The, when was the last time we actually saw a checkpoint, like a, a splits marker? checkpoint does this map actually have any but yeah they're not not hard to world record because people are are playing them so infrequently Ah, oh, there's a splits marker. Surely not old weapons. Back down to regular old speed. But yet it still looks quite fast because it is woe on a strafe map. Ooh, that was nice. That little bit of counter strafe. Whoa. Woe's getting some good ends here. Now this is interesting. Woe's world record uh, right at the start of the month. Uh, he overtook Astu in that record. Now Astu on the same map 
takes the record. Is this a case of someone getting uh, inspired? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> we don't quite have the the ridiculousness of uh, sportsmanship of other sports like cycling and things where you see a hero. Uh, you, it's. I'm just going to talk over this one because this record is, this record's actually good, uh, but you're probably not going to really see very much because of the floral pattern on the floor. You see it fairly often in cycling, and it's always interesting when it happens. A new cyclist, new professional, not a new cyclist, but a new professional, first year pro, We'll be off at the front of the Tour de France, let's say, because you've heard of it. Um, Giro d'Italia, if you're Italian. Or the Vuelta Espana, if you're Spanish. A new cyclist will be off at the front. And they'll be in the breakaway. And at the end of the stage, the GC, the big riders, will come past them. And these new, like, 20-year-olds will just look in or as they get overtaken by the yellow jersey, by the best. It used to be an incredible thing because those riders would be so much younger than the guys that were leading the race. The guys who were leading the race, they'd be in their early 30s, but these young guys, they'd be in their early 20s. Um, now, the guys leading the race are the, in their early 20s, and the guys out the front are practically still in school you know they're they're 20 it's incredible and yeah with Tade Pogaccia currently dominating everything and yet he's still got one year left in the Tour de France of being the best young rider I believe I, my, actually I think it's under 25 so I don't think he can contest it this year if it's 25 he can. If it's under 25, he can't. But it is mad. But... Yeah, g gaming has that in some, in some places. There's always the old guard and it's n when you get to play with them. It's it's something else when they join and there's but there's certain people that are always around that they feel less special even though they are that quality how special does it feel when dizzy or knight joins the server compared to someone who's been around just as long like malice and had so many so many records Live longer, but are useless for longer. Eh. I mean, it is just... With cycling, you had to become an established name to be able to get on the doping programs. But now you can train hard, and there's kids training hard, and all of the training information is more publicly available, whereas when it was the doping programs... The training, the training information the teams were putting out was a load of bollocks because they didn't want people to know that the training program was EPO <laughs> and testosterone and hormone doping. So they didn't say anything. Uh, now there's a lot of good information. 19, there, there will be a point where 19 is starting for some sports, but the interesting thing is and I mean, it, it is it is a ridiculous thing to say um, when people are talking about, like, old people. But I remember when I when I was playing Dota, and people, in, this is back in 2012, like, 2014. Dota's only just come out, Dota 2. 
And people are talking about old man fear. I think he was 25 <laughs> at the time. I'm not sure, but he, he certainly isn't an old man at all. But for the scene, he was old. And people are talking about Nino Scherter being old and he, he can't keep up in cross-country marathon. Uh, sorry, not marathon. Cross-country mountain bike racing. Um, he can keep up in... But in the marathon, he's still a god because the, uh, he's just put out a new series. And Kate Corney said... She's an ex-world champion in it. And she said... It's like sprinting a marathon, and it re like mountain bike racing really is like sprinting a marathon. It's an hour and a half riding, flat out. It is like sprinting a marathon. Cross country marathon racing, on the other hand, is like six hours, with some of it being sprinting. Because of the uh, verticality and the technicality of that sort of race compared to marathon. This route feels a bit cleaner. I'm not sure. But it just feels like... Uh, I think it was it Riffo's record before that we saw. We saw someone earlier playing this. That was good. But it just feels like there were less steps before jumping down the hole. Yeah, shirt is 37 and people are saying he's washed up, he's over it. But I remember... Um, was it? It was either Bart Brenchens or it was... Oh, I can't remember. It was either Bart Brenchens or one of the current riders. I can't remember who. Who in that was doing an in, in that video was doing an interview and he said Nino Scherter won the first five of his ten world championships. By the way, greatest rider of all time, ten world championships, thirty-five World Cup victories, Olympic gold, silver, bronze, and a good chance at winning the Olympics this year. And I, God, I hope he does. Um, he. What on earth is this, and why do you have a gun? <laughs> why do you have the old Vortex? The ne I mean, this is the Nex. This is the Vor the Nexuiz gun. In model, at least, I think. Who... who... gave... Who's putting overkill weapons randomly in defrag maps? Oh, this has such a brutal pre-run. Xenotic's pre-runs are so much harder than Quake 3 ones because you can't... What? Nah. He's done that pre-run, but there's two shortcuts that, that you're doing... Quake 3 that he's not done. Hmm, interesting. Might have to take a look at that one later. But yeah. He said Nino Scherter won his first five world championships by being the strongest. He won the second five by being the smartest. And yeah, it's it's pretty pretty accurate. You can be the absolute raw strongest or you can be the smartest. In the same way that some players... Oh, this is just an absolutely nutty map. But we've got four and a half minutes to talk about it. In the same way that in Defrag, some players are the hardest strafers. They're the hardest grinders. They put more time into the maps than anyone else. But then they still get beaten by Dizzy every Defrag World Cup. Because this, or you know, Goblin won, but not by much. Um, because Dizzy's routing is insane. The smartness of where he puts his crosshair, where he runs, is insane. Much like this map. 
You can get ramp bugs on this map while holding jump. Going at 7,000, 8,000, nearly 9,000 units a second and it feels slow. Xenotic has an incredible thing where you just gain speed by holding forwards. Well, you, uh, you couldn't strafe at this speed. You wouldn't even be able to see anything. There we go, there's the 10,000. Yeah, Dizzy's efficiency is incredible. I mean, we saw... Is he really trying to strafe? Yeah, we saw that it's so difficult to strafe that you can't... The, the pixelatedness of the strafe bar means that you can't find the, the actual place to put your crosshair. Yeah, Dizzy's efficiency is just incredible. He... Yeah, what, two years ago? He spent 15 minutes and he was second by the end. His time that he played for 15 minutes was the second best time by the end of the week. Meaning that it was still... Oh, sorry, would have been... It wasn't the second best time, but it would have been second place if he'd literally played for 15 minutes. Which is mad. <laughs> it is absolutely mad. Much like this map. Where no matter how fast you go. It seems to just keep going. We are over halfway now though. And JH does appear to... Oh, that's a, such a big... You've got to take such a risk with this corner cut. Like, how much of that corner can you cut? How early can you cut that corner? Yeah, it's so fast and slow. And the faster you go, the smaller... The smaller each bit feels because you... Um, you go so much higher than it because you're going I, I don't know trigonometry isn't it you're going forwards further so you're effectively not falling till later so things below you get smaller 16,000 units a second yeah you have you have to cut just mad but with especially with the background gradient it almost looks like you're staying still I feel like this map, you, up to a point, you almost could get an incredibly good time, W only. Like the daft thing that we do, just holding W. <laughs> yeah, he just got time to look back. And eclipse the finish line. Beautiful. Beautiful record. On to the Cuddles 10. Reflect on what you've done and then uh, reflect on your life choices, yeah. Ooh, nice. Getting one of those two uh, up ramps taken as, as an edge bounce. Right on the corner. Apparently that's the finish. Very nice. Was that actually woe? Or was it secretly w vert in disguise? We may never know. This map is such a shit map.
There it is. <laughs> this is indeed a lot of Hager. I made my life in Quake 3 so much better by accident. I uh, wanted to try out, I've apparently got a broken config, so I was trying to get either configs to load or to just restart, but apparently I can't restart with fresh configs because I can't seem to get anything to work at all after that, so I'm just going to use a half broken config. Um, but my... Uh, to try and fix that, I downloaded the default configs off of um, off of the bundle, and they came with less aggressive plasma and rocket sounds. And God, it is so much nicer having just not quite so pressure noises. The rocket sound is a lot closer to like a short version of the one that we've got in Zenotic. Like, imagine if it didn't have the push. It was just the push rather than the push. Like when we were listening to Riffer at twice the speed, basically, but less aggressive. Hey, a bit of line for now. I need to figure out what map this is originally in Minecraft and play it. I've been doing a lot of Minecraft parkour, so uh, if you're still watching this and you uh, watch the streams, I've been in Minecraft parkour in the mornings. So apologies, Des, you'll probably never catch it because it's like two in the morning when I'm doing it for you. But I played... Uh... What did I play? I played Up For Now this morning, effectively. Parkour Spiral. Played Up For Now. Then did a speedrun race where I bugged out the game on Parkour Spiral 2 and still managed to come really shit. I managed to get a shortcut at the start because the race resets, it resets you to the start, but for some reason it just locked me in place and didn't reset me. I still did shit because I'd purposefully only joined a minute before the race started because the ridiculous thing about these races, you can get on 15 minutes before they start and you will just have a big old screen in front of you where you can't see jack shit that says race is starting in 15 minutes. It's great. I hate tight slick like that. I'd literally just be pointing it in the correct direction, giving up after that. Nicely done. A map that's just very confusing. Ferris has such quick flicks sometimes. Like they're almost indetectable when you're not quite paying perfect attention. It just goes and suddenly he's looking the opposite way. Like an absolute whiz bot. Nice. Trying to figure out where we are. Uh, if there's any extra information. Kind of got lost a minute ago. Ghost Zilligan. This should be a decent one to find, to be fair. There we go.
Hate to break it to you, Des, but you should have a video. I've just checked. Not coming up for a little while, but you should have a video. Yeah, this is just, it's so, it's a lovely map to watch. It shows off why defrag is fun. Because you're just gently, smoothly going through everything. This map's good. Speaking of this map, this map is used as background footage in the new Xenotic defrag uh, guide for new players. If you're a new player and you've somehow managed to get nearly an hour into this video and you don't know how to play this game, go watch the guide. It's linked in the description. It contains footage of me playing this map. Yeah, the VP maps are top level. They're all top level for something. Like, VP line is a pain in the ass, but it's creative, it's nice, it's... it works. Des personally recommends the MX Crazy and XDF guide and is definitely not paid to say things. I love that pre-fire rocket from Akamali. Just because Riffo does it properly and it lands at the right point, Akimali always does it too early, meaning it lands after him because he's travelling faster than the rocket, but he aims it slightly higher up so it hits him. It's just a prediction and a complete guess of where he's going to be at that exact moment, whereas Riffo's lands bang on the bottom when he gets there. So I prefer Akimali's because it's a bit hodgepodge. This was a good uh, battle last month though, between Riffo and Akimali. Because they were both going for it, um, it forced both of them to improve and to look at the other person's record and go for some of the skips and some of the tricks that each other were doing. It forced Akimali on that last bit of going round and round in circles to... Um, start using the rockets off of the wall to push him in the opposite direction rather than getting around most of the corner before using the rocket. It forced Riffo to take on some of Akimoli's extreme rocket just hang in the air type stuff. Um, forced both of them just to take more extreme, more and more extreme shortcuts and cut more corners and just try to go as fast as possible in a straight line so that they could take braver and braver shortcuts. And it is pretty mad that it's coming down close to the two minute mark, because when we first saw it, it was over the three minute mark, I think. It's either over it or close to it. A lovely, lovely record there. Yeah, I'll just get on that. Give me like a minute 59 seconds, I reckon. Um, I'll have world record for you. It'll be fine. Ooh, very nice. This music is the sort of music that they use on uh, Minecraft World Records, actually. Speaking of the Minecraft World Records stuff, it's 
all rap and euro beat. Because of course, the Minecraft parkour community is exactly the age you'd expect it to be. Which I sometimes forget when I'm in the Discord and everybody's losing their minds because the server's gone down for half a second. It's like, honestly, if somebody can't connect, they will be in the Discord trying to uh, at the server admin, the server's down, and it's like, no, your internet's died. <laughs> Or, you know, if you try to try again. Hey, I played this map today. Well, that's a load of horse shit. Uh, you're supposed to lose the BFG before there. That was a nice end. You're only supposed to get two BFG shots. When you go through there, and then you get the rocket launcher after the wall. That was nice though. I'm happy with my time that I got on that map in uh, Quake 3. I might try and improve it tomorrow, but I doubt it. Speaking of, my real life speedrunning has gone incredibly well, because I went out for a... I didn't think too hard bike ride today and I did an insane speed despite the fact the entire way home was a bashing headwind and on the way out it was one of those routes where you don't get the headwind on. oh we're going to talk about that after a beautiful circle jump from Jay, uh, from Des nicely double jumped up there carefully through holding the strafe perfect head bonk to gain speed up and over, beautifully round, keeping it together, going down, gets in the perfect position, a lovely turn, manages to keep it down, just grazing that wall to keep him in position, up and over for the perfect angle to get the finish, round the tight finish, and across the line, a second and a half almost taken off of that personal best, and that is a well-deserved world record that stood for time right hold on I'm not watching this bullshit again is this the world record currently yes it is I shouldn't have watched the last one I should have checked it's going in two times speed I would skip it if it wasn't the world record but it is actually it is actually the fastest time. I should have skipped the last one. It's the same shit again, but uh, 39 seconds and 44 milliseconds faster. You won't even notice the difference. In this section, he's going to hit less up ramps because he hit a bunch of up ramps at this point, at about the minute mark. He's way faster into the 10,000s, but he kept losing 10,000 ups uh, on the previous run. This time, he's just faster into the 10,000s, getting well above the 10,000s before the corner. 15,000 before the corner. He barely had 15,000 at the end uh, of the last run. I reckon he might get 20,000 if he's careful. W-turning is incredibly powerful in Zenotic, though. Every single record on the 18th... Oh, no. Not quite. But... Three out of five records on the 18th was JH doing Cool Has to Four. Which is quite impressive that he managed to do that because it means it has to be in three completely separate sessions. Oh shit, hold on. There we go.
I really do have to get better at checking the long maps whether they're actually still world records so that we can just like uh, not the long ones that have any interest to them like um was it, is it bug 83 or weps the one that I was talking about with akimoli and the fight that he had last month versus riffo they're good because they have interesting parts to them but the ones that don't <laughs> The ones that don't have interesting parts to them. I mean, there's a reason JH is the only person who's got the world record on that and then went and beat it himself. He's the only one that is mad enough to go for it. Lovely. Such a different map in Zenotic than it is in Quake 3 because of our instant detonation rockets. You don't have to wait on anything. I like these maps because they really do give off the vibe of a playtest. This is exactly the sort of... If, if Defrag was a standalone game... This is exactly the sort of map that I would expect. You know, it's one specific theme and then there will be something else for playtest one, probably flat. No overbounces to take advantage of through here. This is a good map, by the way. I, I enjoyed this map when it was actually Defrag World Cup. Quake 3. There's some nutty bits at the end of this in the Quake 3 run, though. Coming around here and people surfing... Um, surfing the... The curb. Absolutely mad stuff goes on in that game. For some reason, three people have tried to play a Kota race map for world record this month. Ooh, that was nice. So far, just cleanly done. Not using the the launcher as much as Akimali was. Now really taking advantage of it. Nicely done. Well, yeah, you'd think maybe the Discord thing had something to do with it, but it's not all... Kota race records it's all Kota race maps played and those are definitely not some first time map plays I mean 5e didn't get any of the records and they went for it all through um, you know before a lot of those maps were actually ground out That's true. We do have a lot of world record addicts in this game. If you are a world record ad addict, please call 0800... Uh, I don't know. I can't think of a funny joke. Oh, 0800 straight harder. It's pretty exotic. It was one of the first FPS I played. Though I played others for some years, came back discovering Zenotic might be among the best FPS ever created. True. 
I played everything before I played Xenotic, and then I played Xenotic and was like, oh shit, this is like, sick. Was a help that it was the combination of the two arena FPS I couldn't decide between. Uh, I wanted the movement from CPMA combined with the incredible skill and weapon selection and, multi and uh, team based game modes because CPMA is pretty much 1v1 only. Um, with team modes of uh, Unreal Tournament. And Xenotic is exactly that. And it has a fantastic defrag selection for when you realise that the only reason you've played any of these games is because you like going fast. I did indeed call 0800 strafe harder. They sent me some Viagra. Apparently my top's hydrophobic. Because that drink just spilled all over me. <laughs> Such a nice clean turn. Really nice. Just play defrag, you don't need netcode. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that time. Oh. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I, I'm not even going to look up if this is the world record. To skip it. This deserves to be watched just for how close it is. I mean, he's trying everything. He's strafing during the rocket section, which we haven't seen anybody do so far. That's a way cleaner way to get into the red section. Uh, how did JH manage to do that, by the way? Keep it clean ADing on the... What's it? Amino appears to be WA and WDing. Oh, but so close to the sub one minute. It'll happen. It'll be... I mean, it has to happen. The next record, if it's not... If the next record isn't, then my God. But there's a sub 30 for you. There is the sub 30. These guys are indeed legends. Absolutely incredible play coming this month. This has been one of the best months for moments where you just you're just watching. You don't know what's going to come up. I don't I don't know what happened. I wasn't really playing the last couple of months. I've just been kind of you know not been keeping up with it quite so much. So I don't know what's coming quite so much sometimes. And just for those, four that was good. Okay, we're going to have to check whether this one's actually world record, but I have a suspicion it will be. hundred. This is indeed the world record, so we will be watching this one through. A fantastic banana record. This map has an incredible run on Warsaw. If you look up Bug 100 Warsaw, that is an incredible record. I highly recommend going and watching that after you finish watching this stream slash video. Oh, actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, yeah, tab out. Pause it, tab out. I ain't going to tell you to continue watching this. If you're watching it on YouTube mobile, keep watching this. If you're watching this in the background while you're supposed to be working... Yeah, Shinx. Mad record. Mad record.
I don't know if it's the world record still, but because uh, it's quite an old video, it's unlikely that it is. But it is an incredibly good video. So, yeah, I recommend you watch it. But this is a cracking record by Banano too. This map looks so cool as well with the outlines. That's why I play with the black outlines on the uh, cell OpenGL2 cell shading. When Xenotic finally goes to something better. Like Vulcan, which I don't know if it ever will. Actually, yeah, Dark Places has got a Vulcan renderer, I think. Not official, maybe, but pretty sure someone's done it. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, cell shaded outlines are cool. That's just a fact. It's not opinion. That's fact. Yeah, it is a huge map. If you look down at the bottom, uh, kind of just off centre middle, bottom left middle. Got the map name at the top. I probably should explain this more often. Map name at the top, player name below that. And then off to the side, more towards the centre, you've got the total time that this map took. So we're not even halfway through this map. I watched an interesting video about how big are CSGO surf maps and it turns out that uh, most CSGO surf ramps, single ramps in CSGO surf are as big as actual CSGO maps. Like some of the smallest maps, Dwarf taking Dust 2 as an example, they are the same size, the smallest CSGO ramp that the guy put in the video uh, was the same length as A long on Dust 2 and dwarfs Dust 2 in height. But the maps themselves, like the starting area on Surf Utopia is basically the same size. You could fit Dust 2 in the start room. When you kind of look at Utopia, it's a big box that then goes down into a tunnel for the first ramp. That starting box, you could just about fit Dust 2 into. But uh, one of the things, one of the biggest maps, one of the biggest regular maps, like not, not a map specifically built to be huge, but a regular map for, um, for Surf, had a jump in it, a single jump, where in this jump you cleared half of the active duty map pool. I think it was like you could jump overpass, train, and dust two all in one go. You could jump all of Nuke, including the outline uh, of Nuke, not the actual playable area, but including like the car parks and stuff. It was mad. It was mad. And I can only imagine that this sort of thing in Defrag is similar. Because Utopia is... About 45 seconds. I think. I don't know, I've never actually beaten it. <laughs> it's, it's the most famous surf map. But I didn't go online to vote it on any surf server. And it crashes my momentum mod because there's a bug at the minute. So, I haven't played Utopia. I haven't beaten Utopia. Beaten a couple of surf maps, but not Utopia.
Utopia is actually a TF2 surf map. Really interesting thing, I thought. One of the most famous CS surf maps. It's the one that... Um, that most often gets used in like clickbaity YouTube videos and backgrounds of Reddit post things. But it's actually a TF2 surf map. Which is cool. TF2 surf is good. If you don't have CSS, and I'd recommend surfing in TF2 instead of CS2. And then just wait until Momentum Monk comes out. But I'd probably recommend play Defrag before surfing. I still prefer surf. Uh, still prefer Defrag. I think we're at the point where Source 2 is no longer Quake. Source 1, just about. But Source 2, honestly, I think we are so far from that original Quake source code. It's like trying to argue that the current Call of Duty engine still runs on Quake 3. You could definitely argue it up till Black Ops 2. Probably Ghosts. Probably everything until the Xbox One um, was the only console. Like anything on the 360 PS3, you can probably argue it. Battlefield 3, you definitely can. That Ice Tech engine. That's uh, id tech. <laughs> Yeah, they, it was hilarious when they said, um, oh, we, we've got an entirely new engine. We've got an entirely new engine. Incredible run, Banana. Absolutely mint. They said for Ghost, we've got an entirely new engine, and everybody doubted them, because Ghost was the first one that came out on... Um, first one that came out on... Oh, what was it? On the new generation consoles, of what was then next generation, and I still consider next gen consoles, because it was the, it's still the next generation of console I've got to go to. Uh, the Xbox One and PS4, it was the first game to come out on those, but it was still out on the 360. And people proved that it was the same engine, or at least underlying the same engine, because there were multiple bugs that were still in it. For example, frame rate dependent physics. Now, in theory, they could have reprogrammed frame rate dependent physics, but something that they promised that the new engine would fix would be the fact that if you lag, you shoot slower. You still shot slower if you lagged. Which, of course, with hacks as widely available in, as in Call of Duty. Of course people were hacking to That's such a nice shortcut that is. That's beautiful. Oh and that's stunning. That's just stunning. Yeah, it was completely like no one will know. We'll give it a new name and we'll throw it on. And you know, it's a good it was a good idea to try it. Well, you think that Hitting the ramp would be the best option. Oh, fuck off, nature! Right, that's the record. He does it a hundred more times. Oh, you think the slick on that last map? Maybe. Now you go hot. I've not seen anybody take the record with Slick, and I've not been able to get a PB or anything. I did try Slick for a while. But yeah, I, yeah. What a... F That's such a ridiculous map. That is. Absolutely balmy. Kota Race 14. Getting destroyed. Again. That, I mean, that's, that's a cut. Actually, now... Genuinely, there's a fight going on about this map. Well, 
Ooh, and we're back to the just going through the lava rather than trying to hit anything. That's interesting. Is the checkpoint on? I need to skip back, actually. Let's skip back. Let's go back a bit. Is the checkpoint on that BFG? Can you just, like, not take the B... It's kind of, but I reckon you could get away with not taking the BFG. Because we saw uh, Amino before this run, the last run, took the BFG, but then immediately switched back to the Vaporizer because it's more powerful than the BFG. So... Oh, nice. Yeah, use, using the Vaporizer all throughout rather than just on one section. We saw uh, Akamali before using it only on the lower section then... Um, sorry, only on the upper section then Amino used it only on the lower section. And then using it on both just there. So sick. Cool has to 4JH having lots of records that didn't get videos on this uh, on this map this month. So on a definite grind to try and take this. Nobody seemed to have taken it off of him in between either. So he's on a on a grind all his own. Many many runs on this map. It looks sped up. It's, he's going that fast. It looks sped up. Let's see how many times. That's uh, four. So, the record goes Uchi, Asdu, Asdu. They're all in one day. Then JH took it. And then that video comes from JH's last. In fact, it only lasted one time with JH and then Wo took it and then JH took two seconds off of it to finally end up with that time that actually got a video. Here we are, the unfortunate dethroning of the great Des. His record will be missed, but at least we immortalised it in video. Cab Corp's long night. We've all heard about Cab Corp's long night. It is a brutal map. You've got to take the shortcuts because you've got basically two options. Make the make the gap like that, or you're gonna fall on fall in the slime anyway. I know it's grass, but I consider it slime because it kills you. You're going to fall in the slime anyway because you're not going to make the corner. So you just have to basically jump and hope. And eventually you'll get through it. And maybe you'll get through it at that kind of speed. Which is insanity. Absolute insanity. My record came out over. What the fuck's that? Is what chocolate and ice cream? Speaking of chocolate and ice cream, I'm going to get some chocolate ice cream after I finish recording this. Very nice. Cuddles map. No idea. Those maps are weird. This floor looks a bit like chocolate, but that like specific type of chocolate that appears in certain videos and drawings more than actually is chocolate. I did have a chocolate bar that looks exactly like this one time. That exact, like, slicing. 
in that kind of too small to get a proper grip of and break off and too thick to really break so I ended up having to cut it with a knife. I have multiple knife maps, uh, knife maps? Knife marks in my desk from cutting chocolate bars that are ridiculously thick and don't break. Tony's, fantastic chocolate, but <laughs> you cannot break it because it's not cut into regular squares and the divots in between are it's it's three quarters of the thickness each each edge of the square look up tony's chocolate and you'll realize you can't use a bread knife what i actually do is take a pen knife put it upside down and tap on the top of it to snap that's why this knife, it's not normal knife marks, it's divots. It's spiked. It's underneath my uh, my desk mat now. I've had to stop finger warding on my desk as well because it's literally peeling up the veneer and I don't want to get a new desk. So this one's solid hardwood and it's good. And it means that if I say something I can go touch wood. Boom, nice. More Cuddles 7. This definitely isn't chocolate and ice cream. Oh, and that's the end of it. Well, thank you very much for... Uh, for watching this video it's been a blast hopefully this is the right screen yes it is here are all the records of this month we've got a few more to get through that will be recorded in next months again 87 records unique records 170 records in total here we go Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you in the next video. Maybe even in the world records. Remember the uh, guide. If you've made it this far and you haven't learned how to defrag yet. Absolutely go and watch the guide. If you have, also go and watch the guide. I need the views. And uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next month. And on the server. See ya.